I'm Zack the cat in the library with Miss Doherty. She's going to tell us about the library. <laughs> Thank you, Zack the cat. So everything in the library is new. This section, known as the story corner, has um, this red letter E in four different places. That's because E stands for everyone, and these books are for everyone. The E shows up on the spine of each book, and it also shows up in the library catalog under the call number. So this is the E section, picture books, books for everyone. Including <laughs> cats. Now we're coming over to the rest of the library. So you can see just looking down the way that I have these red letters at the end of each shelf. These red letters work just like the E's. So this says PLA, which is the call number for playaways. The playaways are right down here. You can check out one per person just because they cost a lot. And if you lose two, then you owe me over $100 and I don't want you to do that. So um, on the spine of each of these, we have those same three letters, PLA. And in the catalog, again, the call number is PLA and then the rest of the call number. PLA. <laughs> then we have R for readers. These books are really short chapter books for older students who are learning English or for younger students who are learning to read. This is a new section. This is the J nonfiction section. J stands for juvenile, which just means nonfiction for younger kids. So that's both sides right here. The J nonfiction are perfect if you want just an introduction to a new topic or if you want a really short book, look here. So nonfiction includes poetry, includes traditional tales like folk tales, fairy tales, and informational books. Books about cats. <laughs> Our next section, this is a totally new section also. This is QF, and it goes on both sides. QF stands for quick fiction. So just like the J's are very short nonfiction books, the QF's are short fiction books, okay? So lots of series like Geronimo Stilton, Cam Jansen, Ivy and Bean. So if you want a short read, look right here. Awesome, everything Our is next awesome. next section is GN, graphic novels. Right now we don't have a lot of these books, but over the next couple weeks we're going to be getting a lot more, so I'm hoping that this area fills out well. And then here on down we have fiction, FIC, and this section kind of swapped with where it was last year. So last year the nonfiction one was here, and now it's fiction instead. These are gonna be longer fiction books, okay? So on each sign, I have the author's last name who appears right here. So this is all the authors that begin with A up through BYN. And that's how you read each of these signs. So if you're looking for an R, you're gonna come all the way. The R's start here on this side and they continue here on this side. Okay, so then let's come over here to the corner. Yes, let's. I have a beautiful picture of Mr. Melville Dewey. This is the, um, the nonfiction section. So the J nonfiction is for short books. This nonfiction section is for longer books. Just like the fiction is longer fiction than the QF, the quick fiction, the nonfiction is longer nonfiction than the J nonfiction. So let's step back a little. The nonfiction starts by the R's, that wall goes all the way across that wall, all the way across the back, and ends right here. So these are gonna be more complex, longer, more in-depth informational texts, books of poetry, traditional tales, joke books, all that kind of stuff. And longer books about cats. <laughs> if you have any questions, we are all figure, oh, there's one more section I almost forgot. Um, but if you have any questions, Mrs. Stein and I are here to help. There's one more section, and I don't know how we can get there really quickly, but the YA section, which stands for young adult, has now moved over to this other corner. So, 
If you want a YA fiction or nonfiction book, they're right over here. And that's our new library. Yay!